The Book of Genesis, Chapter 8 Then God remembered Noah and every living thing and all the animals that were with him in the ark. And God made a wind to pass over the earth, and the waters subsided. The fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were also stopped, and the rain from heaven was restrained. And the waters receded continually from the earth. At the end of the hundred and fifty days, the waters decreased. Then the ark rested in the seventh month, the seventeenth day of the month, on the mountains of Ararat. And the waters decreased continually until the tenth month. In the tenth month, on the first day of the month, the tops of the mountains were seen. So it came to pass, at the end of forty days, that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made. Then he sent out a raven, which kept going to and fro until the waters had dried up from the earth. He also sent out from himself a dove, to see if the waters had receded from the face of the ground. But the dove found no resting place for the sole of her foot, and she returned into the ark to him, for the waters were on the face of the whole earth. So he put out his hand and took her, and drew her into the ark himself. And he waited yet another seven days, and again he sent the dove out from the ark. Then the dove came to him in the evening, and behold, a freshly plucked olive leaf was in her mouth, and Noah knew that the waters had receded from the earth. So he waited yet another seven days and sent out the dove, which did not return again to him any more. And it came to pass in the six hundred and first year, in the first month, the first day of the month, that the waters were dried up from the earth, and Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked and indeed the surface of the ground was dry. And in the second month, on the twenty-seventh day of the month, the earth was dried. Then God spoke to Noah, saying, Go out of the ark, you and your wife, and your sons, and your sons' wives with you. Bring out with you every living thing of all flesh, that is in with you, birds and cattle and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, so that they may abound on the earth and be fruitful and multiply on the earth. So Noah went out, and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives with him. Every animal, every creeping thing, every bird and whatever creeps on the earth according to their families, went out of the ark. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord, and took of every clean animal, and of every clean bird, and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a soothing aroma. Then the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground for man's sake, although the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Nor will I again destroy every living thing as I have done. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. The Book of Genesis, mm -hmm. Chapter 9 so Noah blessed God and his sons and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be on every beast of the earth, on every bird of the air, on all that move on the earth, and on all the fish of the sea.
they are given into your hand. For every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. I have given you all things, even as the green herbs. But you shall not eat flesh with its life, that is, its blood. Surely for your life blood I will demand a reckoning. From the hand of every beast I will require it, and from the hand of man, from the hand of every man's brother, I will require the life of man. Whoever sheds man's blood, by man his blood shall be shed, for in the image of God he made man. And as for you, be fruitful and multiply, Bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply in it. Then God spoke to Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And as for me, behold, I establish my covenant with you, and with your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the cattle, and every beast of the earth with you. Of all that go out of the ark, every beast of the earth. Thus I establish my covenant with you. Never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood. Never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. It shall be, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud, and I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. The waters shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. The rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look on it to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. And God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant, which I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. Now the sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham was the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah, and from these the whole earth was populated. And Noah began to be a farmer, and he planted a vineyard. Then he drank of the wine, and was drunk, and became uncovered in his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brothers outside. But Shem and Japheth took a garment, laid it on both their shoulders, and went backwards, and covered the nakedness of their father. Their faces were turned away, and they did not see their father's nakedness. So Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done to him. Then he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants, he shall be to his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem, and may Canaan be his servant. May God enlarge Japheth, and may he dwell in the tents of Shem, and may Canaan be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years. So all the days of Noah were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. The book of Genesis chapter 10. Now this is the genealogy of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And the sons were born to them after the flood. The sons of Japheth were Gomer, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshesh, 
and Tyrus. The sons of Gomer were Ashkenaz, Riphath, and Tugarma. The sons of Javan were Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. From these, the coastline people of the Gentiles were separated into their lands, everyone according to his language, according to their families, and to their nations. The sons of Ham were Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush were Seba, Havilah, Sabta, Rama, and Sabtasha, and the sons of Rama were Sheba and Dedan. Cush begot Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore it is said, like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, Erich, Akkad, and Kana in the land of Shinar. From that land he went to Assyria and built Nineveh, Rehoboth, Ayr, Kela, and Resin between Nineveh and Kela, that is the principal city. Mitzrayim begot Ludim, Anamim, Lehabim, Naphtuhim, Path Rusim and Kasluhim, from whom came the Philistines and Kapturim. Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, the Jebusite, the Amorite, and the Gergeshite, and Havite, the Archite, and the Sinite, the Arvadite, the Zemarite and the Hamathite. Afterward, the families of the Canaanites were dispersed, and the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon, as you go toward Jagar, as far as Gaza, then as you go toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim, as far as Lasha. These were the sons of Ham, according to their families, according to their languages, in their lands, and in their nations. And children were born also to Shem, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder. The sons of Shem were Elam, Asher, Arphazad, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram were Uz, Hal, Gether, and Mash. Arphazad begot Selah, and Selah begot Eber. To Eber were born two sons, the name of one Pele, for in his days the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan begot Elmodad. Shaleth, Harzamarveth, Jera, Hadoram, Uzel, Dikla, Obo, Bimael, Sheba, Ophir, Hav Allah, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan, and their dwelling place was from Misha, as you go toward Sephar the mountain of the east. These were the sons of Shem, according to their families, according to their languages, in their lands, according to their nations. These were the families of the sons of Noah, according to their generations, in their nations, and from these nations were divided on the earth after the flood.